And now for our wine fix. <laughs> Super wine girl, Angela Aiello. Welcome back to Morning Live. Hi, Bob. Always a pleasure. <laughs> oh, we, well, we love having you here because, you know, you uh, treat us to wines from around the world and, and help us go shopping. And, of course, here we're blessed, you know, uh, you know, close to Niagara region and, and all the great wines. But apparently they make good wine in France, too. Yeah, I know. Those what French do we know about the French wines? <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> so easy once you know the language. Bon matin. We're learning a little French this morning. Actually, speaking of, how, how do you read... Uh, with French wines, what, what are we looking for in the labels? Great place to start because yeah. I think, you know, in Ontario, you shop for wines, it's pretty easy. You're you're really reading by the grape. Right. And in France and a lot of the old world or in Europe anyways, you're reading by the region. Okay. So I brought actually four wines today. So you're supposed to know, know what the region. The place. Right. Exactly. And then you're supposed to know the grapes inside. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is a bit more of a, you know, talented, uh, you know, nuance of yes. the world of wine. <laughs> <laughs> but let's say, for instance, we go to Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. So I have two wonderful Bordeaux wines here, one mm -hmm. white, one red. Mm -hmm. um, in, in our red wine here from Saint Emilion, it's Merlot and Cabernet. Well, of course, everybody knew that. Everybody knows that. <laughs> and then in the white, it's a Sauvignon Semillon blend. Okay. So as you see on this label, you don't see anything about the grapes. No. You see Grave for the white, right. and you see Saint Emilion for the red. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of nuance in there. And I know that you're a red wine guy. Mm -hmm. So I did bring out Porgia glass of the Lusac. Ooh, thank you. Saint okay. Emilion. By the way, everything here is under twenty bucks. Everything today is under twenty dollars, yeah. and in fact, the wine you're trying, the uh, Jay Lebag, is two dollars off of the LCBO. Who doesn't love value? Till September eleventh. Uh -huh. Okay, and, I'm um, swirling. You're then swirling. I miss my nosing. And you're smelling. And this wine is actually made oh, by. Oh wow! This okay. It's so fragrant. Well, and you know what? I have a horrible sense of smell, but I'm really getting some notes here. It's aromatic. And this wine uh, is very modern in its style. Most Bordeaux wines are made to age. You put yeah. them in your cellar. You By the way, is the nose with smell years. or just taste? <laughs> the I... nose is just what you smell. With just your what nose. you smell. So yeah. you're tasting notes and. The palate no, is the palate what you're tasting. Pa yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so this wine is made by a female winemaker, and there's no oak on it. So it's fresh. Just like you said, you get that aromatic. It's kind of ready mm -hmm. to drink. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got a cork, so it takes a little bit of obviously a tool to open. The other ones are screw cap, which makes it a little easier, but pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's very luscious. Well, now with old world wines, where like how fast is the evolution happening with getting rid of cork? Yeah, I think slowly, mm -hmm. slowly. You know, more modern stuff. Like for instance, this Pays Doc wine, which is from uh, Languedoc Roussillon. It says Viognier on the label, so that is the grape. So we are not looking at a region here. It doesn't okay. say Languedoc Roussillon. Mm -hmm. So modernization is coming okay. to oh, the French. Slowly, yeah. And so Viognier is a very rare grape, but a very fragrant, very aromatic grape. This wine I also love. I think it's about thirty. $15 at the LCBO. Hmm. Love it. It's really great with fish if you're making up a full fish or, or everything. This Pay Doc wine is beautiful. Okay. So, next up, we have the Rhone Valley. Yeah. So, Mont Ventoux. R rose. Yeah, you uh -huh. exactly. Some rose. I know we're going red to rose here, but okay. it's always rose all day, right? And, well, rose, that's really like in the last, what, five years it's or more. It, it's become extremely popular. Yeah. And this Ogier Ventoux Rosé has been, I, you know, I mean, I've been wine for 20 years, but this has been on my top list for 15 years. I love this wine. It is what well, is from Mont Ventoux. It's made with Grenache and Syrah, gorgeous color. Uh, Mont Ventoux is known for the Tour de France. So uh -huh. everybody knows that through the cycling right. um, marathon. Actually, there's a, well, there's a wine marathon in Bordeaux too, as well. But you see on the front it says Ventoux on it, and the Rhone, and it says Rhone Valley. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily know the grapes inside of it. Even the red, which I also really love, Grenache Syrah. Yeah. So we're looking at understanding a label just by looking at the region. Right. Rosé, by the way, like it used to be thought of as a summer. Thing, but uh, as you mentioned, it's year-round. It's definitely elevated itself. I think it, it primarily started as a very simple drink, right. the rosé color mm -hmm. trend, and it's grown in elevation because the premiumization of the wine has really come back to winemakers making excellent rosé wine. Yeah, and so it, now you can pair really it with nice. so many things. Yeah, and uh, sorry, can I? Tr uh, Yes, definitely. This, and again, so this, this is the Ogier. Um, yeah. This is the Ogier Ventoux. So this is mm -hmm. a Grenache Syrah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to the Rhone Valley, which yeah. is you know settled by the popes, which is much like the Bordeaux yeah. Saint Emilion named after. I wasn't watching. You try this one. Which side do <laughs> I? I didn't. I was just smelling okay. it. <laughs> so not that I care. Yeah, and it's screw cap, so nice and easy. These wines, like I said, are actually these are thirteen and fourteen dollar wines as well. That's nice. Juicy and fresh, so you're getting the warmness of the south of France. 
Sounds like you pair that um, pair that with a barbecue or something. Definitely some ribs. We could even do a charcuterie board with the Bordeaux. Yeah. I mean, these are amazing wines for the end of summer. Oh God. I know August 31st. <laughs> we were talking about that earlier. Feels like the end of summer today, even though September is gorgeous. I know. Just pretend you're in France and get a bottle of French wine, okay. right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we travel vicariously through you and the great wine selections that you bring. So again. Uh, LCBO under twenty bucks yes, for everything here. Everything. And Thirteen dollars for. The yeah, and the the. Uh, and two dollars off the here. The Lusac a Saint Emilion will save two dollars, so it's sixteen dollars right now. So yeah. The Bordeaux white's really incredible too. Like I said, with fish, it's wonderful. So these are these will be up on the website. Okay, great. And we'll hook up all your socials Amazing. at ch chch dot. Two glasses, and I can't say chch dot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Super wine girl, good to see you. Cheers, Cheers.